Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. Today, after nearly two years, we are returning to the fighting title Swordsman VR. Now, I will admit, when this game originally released, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it has significantly improved, and there is a lot more playable content with new updates still on the way. The game is also now available on the Quest 2 via the App Lab, and the developers have asked me to put together a spotlight video to help show off the game. Currently, there's a full leveling system, a wide array of weapons and armor, a multi-level campaign, an arena mode, and more to come like character customization. Along with additional content, the AI, combat, and physics have also been overhauled, and it feels like a whole new game compared to when it launched. Now, there are links and timestamps down in the description, but let's jump in and check out some of this gameplay. You have come a long way to die. I know who you are. Swordsman. Are you here to gain or lose? I am here to gain skills. Okay, guys, this is the skill system in Swordsman VR. This is like your typical RPG title. Basically, you have stats that you will gain over time, and you can use them to alter your character. Strength makes you stronger. Vitality gives you more health. The simple stuff. Now, these are you can use when you're like leveling up for the first time, get more money or more intelligence will make you level up faster. But basically, after like you max out, you you don't really need these anymore. These are some other skills you get like special abilities. You can level them up. So let's do that now. Uh, I tend to like to be a beefy character. Let's max out my strength. Now, I probably want to also max out like my crit. I don't mind if my character is slow. That's fine. I'm cool with that. So how many more skills do we have? We have 22 left. We need to be able to take a hit. All right, 13 left. I think from here, we're just gonna max out our agility. And I feel like we have a pretty kick-ass character. Now, normally you have to unlock these over time, but I have played through this game, so I have everything. So I did a character reset. Boom. All right, that's where we are. We are totally kick-ass. So over time, they've added a bunch more weapons. But there was already a pretty big selection when this game first released. And these are like the special like class, special uh, specialty weapons. Two-handed is usually my style, but I don't know. I think I want to go sword and shield. We're going to equip that to my right hand. So obviously you see these have stats. Basically, you know, they'll slow you down because they're too heavy. We want the biggest, most kick butt shield ever. And we don't want to beat people with the spoon. All right. So let's open up the armor shop and... Obviously, they have a bunch of different armor, which has themes like Samurai and Viking. And they've added Pirate over time, which actually that looks pretty damn cool. This is all right. You can summon snowballs, the Santa armor. See, that is now that's what I'm talking about right there. So we're going to equip that now skin shop to alter your character in development, not available in the game just yet. So this is the five main levels of the game with the ultimate end boss fight. It's a little story content in the beginning. Basically, it's a wave fighter. You're going to get waves of different themed enemies. And it gets harder and harder. And then there'll be bosses with special abilities. There's also arena mode, where you can set the number of waves, the difficulty of enemies, the map, all that stuff. And then there's a zombie horde mode. So this is also something that was added over time. Now, originally, this game did not have real armor collision physics, which stunk. And he's poisoned. How's that feel? And you used to really... Oh, this sword is fantastic. I shall poison all my blades from now on. You used to, like, if someone was in plate, you used to sometimes be able to, like, butter cut right through them, but not anymore. However, you can enable that mode. Like, you can go back to the old settings if you really feel like it. Oh, damn it. Now he's heavily armored, so... Uh, generally, like a blunt weapon would do better. But you just gotta find those openings. That was wave one. I wish you could half sword. I'm gonna check in a minute if that's actually an option. He left that arm exposed. Can I? Yes. So, I don't know a ton about medieval combat, but. Historically, it was hard to break armor, so that was an actual technique. 
uh, because blunt weapons are way better against armor. They hurt and they bend the armor and yes, this guy getting wrecked. That's why you bring armor to the fight. Where's your helmet, buddy? That's why you wear a helmet. Oh, what's the matter? Poison! This blade is poison! Now the weapons in this game make a huge difference about armor penetration, damage. It's night and day. Whoops. I'm a beast. Oh, groggy? Groggy much? Oh, he survived. High constitution. You're not looking good, buddy. It's gotta hurt. You see the difference with armor type? Whew. One day we'll get that move down. Bye bye. Yes. The fist is mightiest. We're gonna crank up the difficulty and I'm gonna show you a pirate themed fight. Now, obviously this is a beautiful new level and I like fighting pirates because <laughs> they're weak. So even though I up their difficulty, they're not armored, which is fantastic for me. Ah, me mateys. The captain has arrived to be stabbed in the groin and poisoned to death. Ooh, concussion. Okay, so this is the bonus content that they've released over time. And look, more is coming. They've added this as extended levels. And uh, let's just jump into there. Johnny Depp, let's go. Now, this is a boss, and, oh, and they are, you know, I'm pretty much max level now, but they are usually pretty beastly. Oh, it's the Kraken! It's the Kraken! No! More drunk than usual. Oh, oh, where's that cracking? There he is. We gotta. Victory! Okay, everybody, that was some quick highlights from Swordsman VR. There's actually a lot more levels and game modes that I could have shown off, but I was just having so much fun putting this together, I kind of lost track of time. Currently, the team is focusing on the Quest 2 version of the game, which I didn't show too much of, but is looking quite nice. And I do expect it will show up on the official Quest store in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the game, go ahead and leave a comment.